Well, you just saw the video of starting to chop up that timber there. I have to go over and show you some of that wood in between things. Um, this is just a slab wood. I'm going to show you. This movie is going to be on how I deal with the slab wood. Look at that wood. It is absolutely gorgeous. And that's just the slab wood. Anyhow, I'll make a, hopefully a short one on this. Uh, I meant to, meant to say I'm running a 56, 54 inch blade on there. I'm not used to that blade. I'm running it, uh, I think 670 RPM. I, I think is what I'm running at. I, I don't, I don't really recall. I think that's what it is. I try to bring the, um, uh, RPMs up on it slow and can't find my log turner. It's in the those slabs are too big to uh, even turn over by hand. I need to get a uh, another handful. I seem to misplace these. These things are so heavy you can't even turn them by hand. Let's see. I'll move this down here. This is kind of a, a boring. I find this to be kind of a, a boring, but you got to do it to get it get stuff out of your way. But this is how I cut up the slab wood. Get get it done with it out of the way, and then I'm done with it. slab might be a little heavy. She's about, <coughs> that has to be split even for the firewood, but it'll go in the boiler. I have a tendency to cut slabs heavy. Reason being, I'm either using it for lumber, using it for building to get my needs, or I'm uh, using it for firewood. So if I cut it heavy, it goes to firewood. If I cut it thin, I got little pieces falling off and it won't come down the roller easy. So I try to cut it heavy. Um, that one might have been just a little bit heavy. So you get to see me cutting up some more pretty wood. Look at that. There in the, there was only one blemish in that log in that whole log. That is some really nice. Uh, it was a pretty log. I don't know what the storm knocked the top out of it.
That's a 12 inch bar, that's a 17 inch thing there. So these things are uh, 12, 16 inches long. I think before I put them in the firewood bucket, which is what these are, blow off the dust. I guess you got most of that, we'll see in a minute. I put them in the crates like this and they're dry. This wood here was probably cut a long time ago. So I'll probably take it out of here and bring in a fresh crate to date it because this, this wood here is too green to burn this this year. So that's going to be over and out for this this one. You guys don't need to see that. I'll, I'll come back when I uh, go cutting that log up. I think um, when I start cutting that one up, finish cutting that one up, <clears throat> I might take the uh, camera down that side and see the, so you can see the other position. Watch how much sawdust goes out when you start sawn into a big log it's kind of amazing so that's that's it for this video